Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dead State Blind. We are back at the shelter, which actually has people moving about, it's amazing. They just sort of move about I think, but hey, it's a big improvement over uh, what we had before, you know, nothing happening. The dogs are walking about, people are going to places. Anita is on self-defense training now, so she's actually going there. She doesn't really seem to have an animation for punching the uh, the bag, but at least, you know, she goes to the right place. And there's uh, Davis, not sure what he's doing there. Or he's going to the bathroom. Or something. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, he's got some self-propulsion there. Autonomous movement, I don't know. It's all sort of quantum physics and... Ooh, 10 hours for the English teacher. Oh, interesting. Right. Um, yeah, we've built most of the stuff that we can, really. We need a lot of parts now. So we're just going to put people to relax and such. And uh, apart from that, yeah, not much we can do at the moment. We're just going to go out and scavenge. Um, I don't really want to tune up the car at all because it just takes a lot of parts for everything. And I guess I'll just use it for the really extreme stuff, extreme distances, if I need to cover them. And even then, the horses seem to be a better option. Oh yeah, wait a second. We brought a new survivor, didn't we? Where is she? She's called Agro. Which is kind of odd, but... Wait, is she on the jobs board? She must be. Let me check. Oh, look, he's going around. Bud is going around with a rifle. Oh, that's cool. Oh, are you telling me he's actually got what I've equipped him with? That would be cool. So, right, so let me check this. Uh, aggro, moss, there we go. Four survival, four mechanical, three melee, three range, two medical, two negotiation, two leadership. She's not too bad at all, actually. Interesting. Well, she's got nothing to do at the moment, so, hey, that's that. I just gotta find her to talk to her, then. Sarah? Chiru, Rene, Todd, Elaine, Mark. I think she must be upstairs. Ephraim. Oh yeah, that's the thief guy. Ryan, Priscilla. Let's go talk to Ephraim just in case he has anything to tell us. Probably not. I hope he's not going to steal stuff. Let's hear it. Mm, yeah, nothing at the moment. Maybe later. Alright, let's go to the second floor. And look for Agro. There she is. Yeah? Anything that would improve your mood? If it can be smoke, I'll take it. Cigars, pot, whatever. Not like I'm worried about lung cancer anymore. I'll let you know if I have any. I had a few questions. Uh-huh. How did you arrive at the bar? There were, like, those fucking dead people all over the motel, so we drove back to the bar we played at, seeing as how it was the only place we knew about in this whole shitty area. Do you remember where that motel was? Alan was driving, I wasn't really paying attention. I had another question. Have you heard any rumors about what's going on? No, we didn't even know that everything was falling to shit. Just playing music and driving to the next gig, like always. What happened anyway? Someone play a heavy metal record backwards or something? <laughs> something like that. Another question. Anything we could do to improve this place? It could be less lame. Also not in Texas. Right. Something bothering you? No. Why? The hell kind of a question is that anyhow? Apologies. I had another question. Nothing right now. Right, so let's check her. Uh, to see if she's got a good mood. Mood. Yep, we've got happy, content, and okay. So Ephraim, I guess, could use something in Sarah as well. I need to talk to them. I'm not bothering about Elaine, because she's never happy. Uh, so where is she? She's probably in the... Oh, she's not here. Well, what does Ephraim want? To be happier. I'm glad you asked. Let's see, you gotta have my hot sauce, because that's just... Uh, rechargeable batteries. Okay. 
Portable fan, rechargeable batteries, and hot sauce. Let's go bring that. Portable fan, rechargeable batteries, and hot sauce. Might also put all of that back. I don't need it. Alright, unique. Uh, there's a hot sauce. We got a lot of it. And then rechargeable batteries. And then a portable fan. But we have never seen that before, I think. Microscope. I kind of want to do that one. Wait a second. Let me just put everything from uh, the others back as well. What do you use here? 38 snub nose. Joel. Oh. Well, maybe he can keep that. Anita. She's got this stuff. Davis. Doug. Max. Okay. Gotta select all of that. And put it back. Um... Nathan, also. Vic has that nasty, nasty MS4. That's a really nice weapon. Oscar. Oh, yeah, I had Regina, right? There we go. It's quite a lot of stuff. All right, there we go. All right, uh, let's see. Agro Moss. Whiskey. Well, we can take that. Belongs to the shelter now. <laughs> right. Okay, let's bring Ephraim that. And then find... Who did I say I had to find? Oh, yeah. Um, the scientist. Not sure where she is, though. Here's some hot sauce. Okay, never thought I'd ever ask this stuff was more important than money, I think. If we ever run out, I'm going to have to learn how to make it myself. I'll just grow peppers. I mean, hot peppers. Enjoy, see ya. I've also got rechargeable batteries. It's not an air conditioning, but it's better than nothing. Thanks. Hope they help. Okay, so now he should be, hopefully, at least content... Yep. All right. So Sarah, where is she? Job nurse. Okay. So we have to go to here. There she is. Yeah, that's nice. They actually go to, you know, where you point them. Anything that would improve your mood? Okay. Weed. A real coffee. All right, let's go for weed and real coffee. So she'll be happier. Because we need that morale right away. Unique. There's weed. have quite a lot of it, which is good. And real coffee. Where is it? I thought we had some. There we go. Whole bean coffee. Excellent. What's this? Seed packets. Okay. Hey, Sarah. I got your stuff. Hopefully you'll be happy now. If not, we'll just feed you to lightning or something. Here's the pot you asked for. Thanks. Don't worry. It doesn't affect my work. Hard as it might be to believe, I need to relax sometimes. Please be careful, Sia. Um, here's some good coffee beans. Yes, that'll do. The trick is to force 200 degree water through a fresh semi-coarse grind in less than five minutes. I may have spent a few weeks perfecting a rig during grad school. Sure, if you say, if you say so. Right, okay. I think we've already done that, so yeah. There we go. Only Metal Canyon is okay now for some reason. I'm happy! Well, let's see, what do we have? Search outside the shelter for useful locations. Explore 30, blah, blah. This is already the stuff we've done, I believe. Antibiotics collected. There's more to collect, apparently. Food collected. Fuel collected. Luxury items. Data items unlocked. Two out of ten. Okay, so apparently we need to unlock more. Well, maybe we should unlock more then. And I'll be extremely horrible at trying to do it. Read data. Oh man, there's so much. Numero four. What was the one? Passcode length six. Was this different than last time? I can't remember. Remaining characters. Um. Uh, caring. 
It is successfully decrypted. Picture of body in a bag dumped on the side of the road. This is one of many I see along the road. That's it. Okay, what do we have then? 146. What about 7 then? Whoops. What did I do? Um. Oh man. That's way too much. Air. What? What the hell is this supposed to be? Um. Ta. I have no idea. Oops. Oh, great. It's that thing again. Oh no, how do I... <laughs> um... Yes, I know, I know. Quit. Oh, what the hell? No, I'm making screenshots now. This is bizarre. Where is the... Where's Q? This is absolutely bizarre. How did I get out of this last time? I can't remember. <laughs> Um, exit. There we go. Man, that's ridiculous. It actually changes your input. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else I can do, so let's go to sleep and see what happens the next day. And then we'll take the horses and go do stuff. Yes, go to sleep. Alright, so there we go. We got, well, not that much food, but we still got 1400 food. Uh, we've got 106 net change uh, of morale, so that's good. Melina, da -da -da -da. lots of fuel remaining. Excellent. Hey, Canyon. <clears throat> I got kind of a weird request for you, if that's alright. So, shortly after everything went to shit, I was doing one last tat on Dustin when my uh, iron, um, that's my tattoo machine, the uh, gun thing broke. I didn't really think anything of it, but I was talking to Regina, and she mentioned that she knew my work and would really like to get something done by me. So, basically... You seriously want me to get you a new tattoo gun? I know, it sounds kinda lame, but I knew... I know you and Regina don't get along super well, and I thought this might help get you on her good side, you know? And that is all a thing you give a shit about, I don't know. Uh, but, she, yeah, we're on good terms with her. We'll see. I had a dream last night about the crash, the blood, those screams, just when I thought I had forgotten them. I wasn't able to get back to sleep, and I'm sorry, but I'm dead on my feet now. I hate to do this, but I don't think I can be of much use today. Sorry, but you're just going to have to work through it. Get some rest, Elaine. We'll manage. How about you try working through it? That helps some people. As I told you in the past, I'm depending on you. Yeah, let's negotiate. How about you try working through it? Maybe for some people, but I can barely keep my eyes open. I know you need everyone here on point, and I hate to disappoint you, but I'm no good to anyone today. Okay, if it's that bad, please take the day off. We, we're not shorthanded, we've got lots of people free now. I'll definitely make up for it tomorrow, I swear. Be uh, safe out there. Elaine heads back to her room. Oh, that was it. Okay, fair enough. So... Uh, yeah, we didn't really learn much about Agra, did we? It's just, like, not much info at all. So let's see, I want as many people on morale activities then as possible. She can be a farmer. Absolutely. Because you need to do this at the beginning of a day. Uh, oh, one extra piece of food produced each week for every day a farmer works in the garden. Oh, I see. So you can have as many people as you want here. I thought it was just one. Can be a custodian. Relaxation. No, custodian. Uh, Vic. He should be on guard duty, but oh well. Custodian. Karen can be, well, not a mechanic. Creates a high volume blueprint so that characters with lower mechanical skill can properly modify the weapon. Hmm. Sniper rifle blueprint. Sniper rifle looks interesting. You can relax. Uh, chemist. Not much here. Although molotovs could be useful. But it uses parts and fuel, so I'm gonna 
stay away from that for now. Oh, hospitality, that's what I want. Uh, even though she's zombified, but hey. You're the chef. Machido is unavailable, but not for uh, long. It's gonna be interesting. Amy can do relaxation. Todd can do relaxation. Oops. Build. Yep, we can't build anything yet. We need more parts if we want to build something. And you can't do anything. You can't even relax, apparently. Maybe it's full. Let's see. This task is full on workers. Yep. Oh, well. Just do nothing, then. If you do nothing, nothing can go wrong. <laughs> hmm. No, I'm not going to do that. No. Just don't do anything. Mia also can't do anything. Sarah is a nurse. Uh, wait. I can actually make that stuff, but I need a science lab. Wait, what do we need for that? Oh yeah, mechanical skill. I need to get her some mechanical skill. Don't really understand why that's like that. Or someone with the science and mechanical skill. Two people should be working on this, really. You know, and put their... Uh, put their uh, ideas together. Nothing here. Okay, so let me check. Who's got science 5? If anyone. Well, she's got science 10, obviously. Science 2, I can barely see that. And I can't go up and down with... Uh, arrow button, so that's kind of annoying. There we go, she's got science 6 and medical 10. Oh, she's probably a doctor then or something. But that wouldn't make sense. If she, even if she can't speak English, she could still, you know, do doctor stuff. Uh, she's got no mechanical though, so she won't be able to do that. Science 4 and mechanical 10. Uh, and we need science 5. <laughs> and mechanical... Three. Well, that's great. Science two. Science seven. Mechanical zero. You're gonna be kidding me. How do you make that stuff? Science three. Science two. Science four. <laughs> we need five. You bastards. Science five. Mechanical two. That's not. That's one mechanical two. Uh, too little for. <laughs> How do you do this? This is ridiculous. Sign zero, sign zero. Well, I have no idea how we'll make that uh, lab. But, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to equip us properly. And then... Yeah, you're gonna do the motocross armor. And you need some medical stuff in this. There we go. And possibly also the shield, even though it's horribly heavy. Wait, that's in armor. Where's the shield? There it is. It's 20 pounds. Can barely have anything else with you, but... Metal Canyon just becomes an absolute tank with that. See, the problem is, this doesn't really have a lot of ballistic resist. This does. But, oh well, for now, I think that's gonna be fine. Um, so who do we have with us? We have Max, who's gonna have, yeah, probably that as well, football pads. We have nothing better except the tactical vests, right? Why isn't this sorted properly? That's a bit annoying. Hmm. Um, well, you can have this bike helmet, even though this one's better, I believe. Let's compare it, actually. Two, there's more defense. It's double the, uh, the weight, but it does have bludgeoning and piercing resist, but nothing else. Well, chemical. It's not really worth it. Oh yeah, I have this as well. Dog sleeve. It's not much. There you go. And also, I guess, a bladed weapon. Um... What? I'm not gonna give him an axe, because it's just too much. Bowie knife, maybe. That's quite a good thing. 
<clears throat> then we have Nathan. Who can also have a Bowie knife. And yeah, the football pads. But also these. And this. And some arm guards. And then we have Regina. We'll have that. And a bladed weapon, because she's pretty good with bladed weapons. Crash axe. That's pretty good. And armor. The helmet, and there. Metal Canyon also needs that stuff. Three defense, four defense. I'll have that then. Because he's going to be the, the tank. Can also have the riot helmet, which is horribly heavy. <laughs> Look at that, 60 pounds already. 60 pounds. Tactical leg protector. Oh, that's for the legs. Hmm. 60 pounds. Something, something for the uh, hands as well. Three, that's pretty good. Alright, there we go. Do we really want that? Yeah. Let's have it. He's not going to be able to carry much, but he'll be a crazy tank. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I know not a lot happened this time in this episode, but we're going to go out scavenging now. So it should be more interesting. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.